I recently bought a Sony ZV-1. It's not the best. How strange is that? Why did I switch from Canon to Sony? No one is ever going to make the perfect vlogging camera ever. Sony ZV-1 the best vlogging camera you must have seen hundreds of vlogs about Sony ZV-1 and why it's good why it's called the best vlogging camera well this video is not about that Welcome everyone, if you are new here, I am Akanksha, this is my channel Group Cloning Heels and today we are going to talk about why did I switch from Canon to Sony, why I chose to get Sony ZV-1 even though it might not be the best vlogging camera. Yes, you heard me right, it's not the best, I mean it's, it's great, I'm not saying it's bad, it's great but it's not the best thing that I would have chosen if I, I had another option that was as good as this. So you know what I mean? I know I'm contradicting myself but... And yeah, before we head on there, hit the subscribe button and let's go. Earlier I was using my GoPro Hero 8 which is my favorite vlogging camera. Um, it shoots at 4K and 2.7K up to 120 frames per second and by far it is the best thing I have ever owned. I think this is so small, it just I put it in my pocket, I hate carrying things that are big. So this is super portable, super small and I love carrying this around and shooting videos with this. And the second ca camera was a Canon G7X Mark II which was my first vlogging camera so it's kind of special. And it shoots at 1080p resolution and 60 frames per second and it has got all the manual controls so you can have a full control over creativity and all the shooting modes. I was a Canon enth enthusiast. I'm shooting on my Canon 200D. I love it. The color science, the functions, everything is fabulous. So the question remains, why am I switching? Um, I love my Canon but I was struggling with sound quality. Um, the problem with Canon G7X Mark II is it does not have an external mic input and it sucks. I, I was having such bad sound quality out of the internal mics that I had to use an external microphone. I bought the Rode once but apparently it doesn't, the ca camera doesn't have an external mic input. That's like, that's ridiculous. Why? Why Canon? Why did you do this? And you could say that I could get a media mod for my GoPro and use the, you know, the multi-directional mic on the media mod, which is cheaper than buying a new camera. It was around 129 Australian dollars. But the problem with that, with the GoPro that I'm facing is, I don't know when I'm talking to myself, like how much of the frame you are seeing. It's just weird because I don't know how much frame I'm covering or whatever I want to show behind me is coming or not. So that was a big problem because it doesn't have a flip screen. I don't know what I'm shooting. So that was the issue I was having with GoPro Hero 8, although it's fabulous, still my favorite. The picture quality, the video quality is amazing, like mind equals blown. And then there was the third issue of resolution where the Canon shoots only in 1080p and the GoPro shoots at 4K or 2 points. I shoot at 2.7K. Uh, but the difference in the picture could, is easily recognizable so I didn't like that. And the quality at 2.7K or 4K even when down to 1080p is great. The picture is crisp, sharp, amazing. 
I actually actually love shooting at that resolution and I wanted to upgrade to a camera which allows me the flexibility to shoot between both the resolutions. One maybe not so important reason to upgrade was GoPro was bad in low light. I mean it's no it's bad it's not good there's so much noise and the picture isn't great there's not much exposure so you know I wanted something that ticked all those boxes where my cameras lack I have one piece of um, equipment that helps me shoot everything everywhere um, I do have my Canon EOS 200D but it's a bit bulky it's big with the kit lens so I don't like carrying around uh, this big of a camera I think this is the second or third time I have taken this out so yeah you could understand okay so let's get some drum rolls uh, my finalists were Sony ZV-1, Sony A6400, Canon M50 and Osmo Pocket 2 and the winner was obviously Sony ZV-1 it's a great small camera and it has a really great built-in mic with and it comes with the dead cat so you can just you know what is it I forgot how it happened oh yeah there you go so you just pop this in and there's like a cold shoe on top so you can pop any attachment you like and then it has got a flip screen as well although it was a tough competition the ZV1 was the winner and um, although it's not the best, there are a lot of places that it's lacking but it ticked most if not all boxes of my requirements and uh, out of all that list, uh, my priority was to have an external mic jack so it does have an external mic jack and it has got a good mic apparently so there you go, that's the external, external jack it records in 4K resolution at 60 p's per second and then there is a fr high frame rate where upon on 720p it shoots up to I think 240 frames per second but not too sure. It has got a standard and active uh, stabilization and then it also ha is great in low light photography. Uh, I did see a few reviews and I did see some tests and stuff so the output was great. And not just that, there are a lot more fabulous features like really fast autofocus, uh, product feature mode, background defocus to name a few and on top of that you can control everything manually so I think that's a plus and a bonus. This is a great camera. It's a, it's a small powerful camera which I can travel with and like I can shoot with all the time so yes this is going to my go-to camera now I guess apart from that I really don't like the fact that it doesn't have a wider field of view that's what I love about GoPro though field of view is so wide you can see everything you can see the whole person like sorry that's my phone as a vlogger I really like to show my background like this and shoot at a distance but when you have active track on it just um, crops out the face even more so there's like just this much of area that you can see and it's like my head bobbing around in different places and the battery life sucks honestly I was shooting and the battery is like half done already so yes that I would love if the if they made an improvement on that but also in saying that no one is ever going to make the perfect vlogging camera ever oh my god that's so much heat it's going to be 38 degrees today i need to shoot and run out of this place asap i can't bear the heat so much i will still be using my gopro a lot because i love the video quality and the portability um, i will be using my sony zv1 for vlogging myself like this and that will be my second camera but GoPro will be my first camera and that is my whole vlogging kit but if you want to include my drone that's there as well so let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to make a video on uh, anything else as well and I will get on to that if you like my video do not forget to subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit that like button this or this side I think this side I always get confused so hit that like button uh, hit that subscribe button as well and follow me on my Instagram it's globetrotting heels and I will see you next time in my next video